Welcome to the Write Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast about pens and the people that write with them. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, I'll share some new pens that arrived this week, answer the question of the week, and give away something on my desk. All right, so first pen I'd like to talk about is the Bennu Euphoria Armenian Paklava. This is a fountain pen that actually made our top five list in April. It was released at the very, very end of April. It is the latest collaboration pen design cooked up by Goldspot Pens and Bennu. The chefs at Bennu crafted a gorgeous golden brown resin that shimmers and glitters like the syrupy glaze of sweet nutty paklava. It has a Schmidt number six size stainless steel nib in fine, medium, or broad nib sizes. It fills using an international ink cartridge or converter of which both of them are included. And it's $140 on our website at the present moment. It's exclusive to Goldspot pens. Uh, And there's less than 30 pens of this 100 pen edition remaining. It is not numbered at all. So as this pen was released last week, we already started to get some feedback from our customers, including a five-star review from Sally P. And Sally writes, this pen is absolutely stunning. Photos are gorgeous, but In my opinion, they don't really do the pen justice, honestly, because it looks even better in real life. This is probably my favorite Bennu Euphoria colorway that I own, but I only own this one, Vodka on the Rocks and Caramel Ice Latte, just to give you an idea of my taste. Anyway, I'm matching mine with Robert Oster Honey Bee. Thank you, Goldspot and Bennu, for such a wonderful creation. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, I had to place another order, LOL. So to follow up the Paklava, we have our latest exclusive from Bennu, which arrived in the same shipment. That is the Bennu Skull and Roses in Gamma Green. This is the brainchild of Mr. Penboy Roy, pen reviewer extraordinaire. Uh, It is not radioactive, but it radiates awesomeness. And Bennu's resin, like you see with the Paklava, is just like no other. And with this particular resin, as you can see the difference, when you look at the Paklava, it's very sparkly. It has a traditional decagonal shape, which means it's 10-sided. Uh, however, the Skull and Roses is a round pen, and it has a complex design of roses on the barrel and cap, uh, which kind of emerge out. They're kind of like embossed out of the material and you could even just you could feel the uh, sculpting basically that is on the outside of this pen and I know it's not sculpted nor is it like etched into it it's it's probably uh, like an injection mold or it's some sort of molded type of resin but uh, this is this resin is just outstanding and it's so unique one of a kind that you will not find any other pen that's like it. Uh, the To contrast the roses, which is kind of like the life part of this pen, is the other side of it, which is death. And it's rather macabre, but you would see a cap ring here that has the faces of skulls that go around the entire cap, which is uh, really, really cool. And it actually is functional because this pen, being that it doesn't have a clip, the skulls act as a roll stop. So if you lay your pen down on a table and try to roll it, it's not going to go anywhere because the skull is prevented from going any other place. Um, But this resin, the color that Roy had picked is just such a radiant green um, as translucent too. So you could definitely see it through the cap band. You see the translucency through the grip section. Uh, This nib on here is a smaller nib than on the Euphoria. It's a number five size Schmidt nib and actually is available in one more nib grade than the uh, Euphoria model. It's available in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad. It is also filled using an international size ink cartridge or converter, of which both are included. And it's also available in just 100 pens total and not numbered. And for $163, you could find the Bennu Skull and Roses Gamma Green on the Goldspot Pens website, but I don't think for a very long time, so take advantage of this while it lasts. And next to arrive is actually a ballpoint pen. We have the Karandash 849 Paul Smith 
fourth edition. This collection pays homage to Paul Smith's unexpected combinations as seen in the lining in his suits and the top stitching of his shirts. The six pen pairings are flashy or tender, unexpected, sharply contrasting, powerful, and deep. So they contrast with each other in different ways. You have the top half of the pen is one color, bottom half of the pen is another uh, color, and they have Paul Smith's signature on the side opposing the clip. So the clip, the, the pen itself is hexagonal, uh, kind of like a t traditional wood case pencil, and you have the clip on this side. Underneath it you would see uh, Caran d'Ache underneath the clip there, and Swiss made above the clip, and then the knock, the, the little press mechanism that you would use to retract the, the pen tip, actually reads Caran d'Ache engraved on the uh, metal portion of that. Available for a limited time, these Paul Smith design pens are a collector's item packaged in a matching commemorative case with Paul's brand signature printed on the box and on the pen. This pen has plenty of style and substance. The lacquered aluminum body of the Caran 849 contains the long-lasting Goliath ballpoint ink cartridge that will write smoothly for 600 A4 size pages. And originally this pen is retailed for $54.95. It is on sale for $41.21 on the Goldspot website. Next we have the latest special edition from Twisby. This is the Mini AL in Grape. It is a pocket-sized fountain pen. It's a demonstrator fountain pen. And one of the neat features about the Mini model is that the pen can screw post onto the back of the barrel. And it will not engage the piston mechanism. So it screws onto just the barrel portion of it. The main feature about this pen that you will like I think would be the demonstrator body that you could see the piston mechanism moving up and down in, uh, which holds about a milliliter of ink. So for a pocket fountain pen, that's a pretty good capacity uh, that you could certainly fill up and enjoy for a long time. Now the accent about this pen, the one thing that really makes it different and sets it apart from any mini fountain pen is the aluminum grip section and the piston mechanism, which is anodized in a bright purple finish. So I, when I originally saw the pictures of the pen, I'm thinking that the aluminum is going to be rather shiny and might be a little bit slippery, but it's kind of more of a matte uh, finish to this grip section. So it actually feels quite sturdy uh, and the purple is just lovely. As with any Twisby pen, it would include uh, the underneath the box platform here, uh, a wrench and silicone grease so that you could then disassemble the piston mechanism for maintenance if you need to. And these nibs, uh, these are the number five size. Uh, these are nibs are made by Yovo and they're available in extra fine through broad for $60 and a 1.1 millimeter stub for $65. And next we have a delightful spring pen in the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Solar Term series. This series is themed around the seasonal celebrations in Japan that mark the various solstices and equinoxes, of which of course there's two of each. So four different colors comprise this edition with a light pastel hue mixed with meta shine. So this pen uh, is a Pretty sparkly pen. It's not over the top like a Bennu would be, um, but it is something that when you catch it in the light, that meta shine truly comes through and you could see kind of a glistening effect on it. So as you would see with uh, many Progear designs, the Progear Solar Term has contrasting finials uh, that kind of complement the, the pen design and a signature of the Progear style. The Solar Term series has gold appointments with a 14 karat gold nib available in fine, medium fine, or medium point sizes. It is a cartridge converter fill, which is a Sailor proprietary cartridge converter fill, and both of them are included with each pen. The list price on this Sailor Pro Gear Slim is $295 on sale for $236. It looks great as a Mother's Day gift, I think. Um, and if you're looking for a last minute Mother's Day gift, you could check out our Mother's Day gift guide on the Goldspot Pens blog. Lots of great suggestions there, lots of thoughtful ideas. Uh, for mom or your caregiver that you could find on there. Also, if you're looking for a deal on a sailor, the price of the Pro Gear Slim Line Friends collection drops from $450 to $320, taking another 20% discount for a new lower price of $256. So let's get to the question of the week. Z Asgar writes in, hello, 
I cannot spare much amount to buy a good fountain pen. Which time of the year is the best to buy? I mean, when your clearance is at its best. So as the head of digital marketing, I could give you a direct answer about what Goldspot does, and then I could also give you an idea of like what people would do in general, as I mean, other retailers, other distributors, everywhere else in the world. So you didn't necessarily have to buy from Goldspot, but these are the best times, I think, to buy in general. So if you're looking for absolute rock bottom best deals throughout the entire year, I would suggest going and looking at November. Particularly mark your calendar for the first Friday in November, which is Fountain Pen Day. And then just look from that day to Black Friday and Cyber Monday for the entire month. And usually there'll be crazy deals, the best clearance deals, a lot of manufacturer supported promotions going on. So uh, things that are, are, are more aggressive than usual. And the reason being is that Fountain Pen Day kind of kicks off kind of like an early Black Friday for the pen industry where you would see a lot of fountain pen related promotions and a lot of retailers around the US and around the world really get into it and put their best foot forward when it comes to having these awesome sales. So that is definitely a look to something to look forward to. And of course, Black Friday uh, traditionally is the day after Thanksgiving in, a, in the US here. And that also tends to be very aggressive all throughout that whole weekend from Friday to Monday. A lot of sales and people have been moving this earlier and earlier but I've seen it happen a lot of deals happen as soon as fountain pen day and then just roll out through the rest of the month uh, for gold spot particularly that's also true but we also put in every week something called the weekly dip um, which is something that you could sign up for with our uh, email newsletter uh, you get it once a week on Wednesday and we will feature a pen that we will put usually at a pretty aggressive price like you know 40 percent 50% or a free gift with purchase and it rotates from various different products and speaking of that then we roll into what our weekly dip special of this week is which is the Schaefer Pop Star Wars pens to celebrate May the 4th be with you. So May the 4th, Star Wars Day. We want to celebrate all things in the Star Wars universe, uh, including these Schaefer Pop pens, which are basically the last pens that we have that are licensed uh, from uh, Schaefer and Star Wars. Uh, we used to have cross pens licensed with Star Wars and, and they have since sold out. It's like you have to buy into the license for a limited time and then the manufacturer can produce as many pen designs as they can that's approved by Star Wars. And I think this is also the last of the line when it comes to the Schaefer pen. So uh, there are four different designs that we included, uh, two rollerballs of which this is a rollerball in the Ray design. So this is Ray from the most recent Star Wars trilogy. And you also have BB-8, uh, yeah, the Death Star, and then also Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing uh, jumper suit. So on our weekly dip price at 50% off, you have a $12 rollerball and a fountain pen that goes for $13.50 with a medium point stainless steel nib, which I mean, that's a pretty good price, I think, for a Star Wars product and also for a good solid writing instrument made by Schaefer. Okay, and to give away something, on my desk. We're going to give away this cute Pokemon pen set from Platinum. This is something that we don't carry. It's a, uh, it's not available in the US market. Uh, so we had purchased one of these just kind of on a whim. It's been sitting on my desk for a while. So one of you guys can uh, win this uh, and I'll tell you how. But I just wanted to take a look here. It, it does have a little dent on here, but, uh, but I think that you'll enjoy the fact that all the contents inside are perfectly fine. It has a uh, fountain pen, Kind of looks like the grip section of maybe a, a Plazier, I think, or Preppy, I'm not sure. But it's one of those, it's got the stainless steel nib and it's got a snap cap on it. You can actually switch the snap cap from Pikachu to Snorlax. And it's got a converter and cartridges in it as well. Very cute presentation, cute packaging. Uh, and one of you guys can win this. And to enter, you must be subscribed to the Gold Spot Pens channel. That is a must. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment below with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future episode of this podcast. I'll pick a question to answer in the next episode, and that will be our winner. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff Podcast by Gold Spot Pens. Now, go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Until next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.